Okay, I know what y'all thinking. The Dory Cooney animation has not been the upright show to start off in the to start off this year. I mean, okay, we have some good shows in the spring that are that are high tier, mid tier, and low tiers. And after three episodes of Dory Cooney animation, it's come to my attention that it's best to read the to read the manga than the anime because it's something about Dory Cooney animation that makes you want to watch the I mean, it makes you want to read the manga more than the anime. It, unless you want to watch, you know, unless you want to see blood. Unless you want to see gore, rape, all that stuff. But, again, after three episodes, Dory Cooney animation, I mean, Dory Cooney animation has this kind of like a, I'd say, C average of a psychological show. I mean, it's not like ultimate game and it not even high tier when it comes to magical girl sites which by the way magical girl site best spring of anime of 2018 but anyway dark Cotty animation episode three just demonstrates that we have traps traps everybody get ready for the trap you know traps we got traps i know some of y'all like traps i mean i was a victim of a trap like in Baka and Tess, and you guys know Baka and Tess. I almost, I like this girl, but then it would turn out with a boy, and I had regrets. Not that I don't have a problem. Okay, I'll be honest. I don't have a problem with guys dressing up as girls, or girls dressing up as, dress up as guys. I don't have a problem with that. It's just that that kind of feeling when you have crush on that one particular girl you like, and it just, it blows in your fucking face when you thought that person you like actually made it worse. And it makes you want to puke a lot. And it's just like, uh, it's, it's that vibe, you know, that little, that's like a wake-up call, a slap in the face. And this is why, like, I don't know why people like traps and enemies. I'm trying to figure that out. I mean, Fate Apophica, the character in Blend S, you know, I don't get it. And still to this day, Still to this day, I um, I realize that you can't just pick a girl you like unless unless the episodes continue and we find out more about the character. Okay, off topic. But anyway, Dark Eye Animation kicked things off with Julia, and Julia plays a deviant role in this. You could just you could just by looking at three episodes, you could tell that Julia is like the core of the SCM towards everybody. And it's like she plays a big role in this. Take it from someone who reads the manga, which I ain't gonna spoil as much, but you guys could understand. Three episodes and Julia is already playing the game really well. By forcing Seiya to become the slave to the slave to the master. So when two slaves battle, she's temporarily, she's controlling Seiya. And the master is controlling Julia and Julia is controlling Seiya. So it's like a chain reaction. So whatever Seiya says, she he has to report it to Julia, and Julia reported it to the master. So in a circle motion, Seiya is control Seiya is that guy's master's. And and Julia's. So that's how that kind of worked it out. But this episode didn't really focus on Seiya because the right now three episodes is kind of slowing down, but it actually opened up to all the characters we get to see from the opening. The opening of Dark County Animation, after three episodes, it actually showed the characters who's in the game. So, like I said in the first episode, uh, the first episode is not just about the female light Yagami version, but it's also different versions of every character who's participating in the SCM game. Now, this episode features two characters, one of which is who works at a parlor and she has that evil yandere, sundere laugh that go like, ho, 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 rich girl laugh. And you got one who's a trap. Yes, trap. Don't get fooled. Now, to uh, it's just two, it's just two polar opposites. One is just bored, want to have fun, and one just love her. One that just loves her. So then they're like, okay, let's play a game. They put the SCM on it. And you know how shows like this, it's kind of convenient. How relevant that the same people from the first episode or whatever episode actually shows up in this. And the Leo, kind of like a Leo hair thing that was with the other guy, he actually went out with her. 
But the game was actually this. Two random guys and whoever buys more stuff from for their partner wins. So those two people were just toying with them, just to see who could buy like the highest fashion, the high I mean buy the buy the clothes, buy the jewelry, buy the drinks, buy the food, and then whoever gets the most wins. So Narc okay, I gotta be honest. Let's be honest, guys. After after all of this, didn't you guys actually believe that was a trap to begin with? I mean, I mean, I read the manga and all, but it was kind of okay for those of you guys. For those of you who haven't read the manga, wasn't it kind of obvious that that was a trap to begin with? I mean, looking at the neck, the you know, the way how he sound, the way how he sounded at the table, does not give you kind of a vibe thing that that's. A male? Seriously, did anybody catch that? But then, as soon as they're in the park, you got this big brawling punk dude who who looks like the guy from High School of the Dead in the gas scene. You know that um episode when Ray and Takashi was at the gas station, and you got this punk who trying to who grow Ray's boobs and and trying to steal the motorcycle. That dude, you know, he's kind of like that with his messed up teeth and all that stuff. And he beat the shit out of both of them. It was kind of like a punch out. Like, whoever gets knocked out and knocked out. And, yo, he controlled. He was trying to figure out who the master and all that stuff was. Now, that's just that. Now, but then you got this other trap character who ran like a who ran like a girl. that didn't even care about getting seeing her getting beat up. But that was messed up. <clears throat> and the dog, I'm done. The dog just, the dog just literally... Like, damn. <laughs> the dog was nice to begin with, Zas Zasumaru or whatever. He, uh, the, they fed him fried chicken and it was sweet. You know, he was a abandoned dog. And it was funny because let me get to that part right now. Okay, so Julia encountered the, the quiet, shy boy who couldn't fight. Couldn't fend off against her. I mean, couldn't fend... Could not go against um, the big guy. So he literally just like, Julia just automatically found him. Well, no, it's a tracking device. But you see, this is what I meant. Julia plays a role in this SEM with these people playing, participating in the game. Julia plays a role. So anyway, Julia wants to help them out, join alliances. And that's what this SEM is. It's not just about people competing in the It's about making alliances. So now Yuga has his alliances, Julia has her alliances. We're on a war. So the driver himself, Ago, whatever. The dri okay, let's be honest, guys. The driver that was driving with Julia and that boy, does he looks like does be honest, does he look like Maze Hughes from Full Metal Alchemist? I mean, I mean he got the hair, black hair, and he got the glasses. You know, from a standpoint, he does look like Maze Hughes. Just look at Full Metal Alchemist. Look at Maze Hughes. And then you look at this from Dora County Animation. And you guys can't tell me I look like a little bit like Maze Hughes. So, they went to the park just to save her. But that dog is vicious. And, yo, by vicious, he bit him. He bit the big guy in the nuts. And he had it coming. And I'm like, yo. Ooh, that hurts. That hurt. I mean, damn. <laughs> that hurt. The dog literally not only defend that woman, but she, but he literally, the dog literally bit not only the arm, but damn it, the nuts. That fucking hurt. That moment you pause it perfectly, you can't just, you get that vibe, you're like, ooh, that hurt. That's, that's that reaction. I'm sorry, but that dog did a good job. That is the most funniest thing. And more, no, that's got to be the most funniest, if not the craziest scene we ever had right now. But yeah, that's what's funny. And get this, the biggest, the biggest thing ever was that now that the mutt bit the guy, he, the big guy is actually the mutt slave. So that's kind of like, <laughs> that's kind of funny, being, being controlled by animal. That is, that is so funny, unless Monster Misune. But still. He literally lost to the dog, and the dog is the master, and he's the slave. That is the fucked up thing I've ever seen right now. I mean, there's others coming a long way as the episode progresses, but still, the dog bit the guy in the nuts. It's got to be the most funniest thing in this show right now. 
funny thing. And talk about like seeing it, seeing how it looks like, like, damn, that hurts. You get that chill. And that's why I fell from that part. And it just ended like that. So now we're going to see more characters get involved in this game, which you probably will like or probably not like. But again, episode three was kind of like a, I'll say a stream down, not too hot, not too low, not too high. Kind of like a mid-tier thing because it's just dim. It's just talking about people participating in, participating in this in the role of SCM. So you're gonna have your favorite characters, you're gonna have your least favorite characters, you're probably gonna have characters that are strangely crazy, like the girl with the eye patch and says, eat me out, or your favorite character could be the dog. Quite frankly, you know, who am I to judge? Or probably Julia, or Saya, or whatever character you like. Either way, you're gonna see more characters participating in this game, and you probably had your favorite until now. So anyway, this episode was kind of like, eh, that's best. Wasn't hype. I will say, after three episodes, I say give this a try. You're probably going to laugh. You're probably going to feel sorry for the character or, character or characters you're going to, that they deserve. By the way, give it a try. So, that's it. So, tune in next week for episode four.